Hi everyone. Today we're in Burgundy on a gorgeous November day in the middle of the Primer Cru called Castier. Castier is just to the, the north of Clos Saint-Jacques where we had another film today and it is the second largest of Gevray's Primer Crus at a little over nine hectares which is in the roundest of round numbers 25 acres. Castier is the only other vineyard in Gevray besides Clos Saint-Jacques that runs from the bottom of the slope all the way to the top. But unlike Clos Saint-Jacques, which only has five owners, each of them have parcels that run from the bottom to the top. There are only one or two producers that have that broad extent of vineyards. And Castier is not only larger than Clos Saint-Jacques, Clos Saint-Jacques being not quite seven hectares, but it is much choppier in terms of its parcels. There are many more owners and the pieces that they have, which you can see from the way that the parcels are chopped up, um, don't have um, the same consistency that Clos Saint-Jacques does. That said, Castier is still, in my opinion, um, either the second or third best primer crew in Gevray. And its position next to Clos Saint-Jacques um, speaks to the quality that it has. That said, the difference between them is that Castier is a more virile wine. It's not as elegant as Clos Saint-Jacques. It is perhaps even more mineral. And the Gevray uh, character that's often called sauvage or animal, meaning this wildness that you naturally get, is reflected when you look around because you can see that this is not a place that is seems domesticated. Even after almost 2,000 years of viticulture here, it still seems wild. The wines are powerful, they age exceptionally well, and it is a vineyard that I love. It's not perhaps as great as Clos Saint-Jacques, but it has a character that's unique, that really can't find any place else in Gevray. So if you have a chance to try one of these, by all means do. I think you'll find the wines to be more than just interesting.